Before we get into this briefing, I want to start by setting the tone for what I hope can continue for the next two years. As I travel across my state every year and meet with Montanans face to face, it doesn't matter if you're from a rural town like the one I live in or a college town, I always hear one thing, and that is why is Congress so divided? Last week was a sober reminder of just how petty and divided our politics have become. Make no mistake about it. What China did last week was completely unacceptable and a real threat to American sovereignty. It deserves a real response from a united America. I was very discouraged by some of the responses from elected officials in the House and the Senate that decided this was a great opportunity to score some cheap political points and get attention on social media. China is a real threat and one we need to take seriously, which is exactly why we're here today. Senator Collins and I were in touch throughout the day last week when the news broke. We listened to each other and we agreed we need to take swift action to make sure China's reckless actions received real attention, not political talking points. We are holding this briefing today because American public deserves to hear from the Department of Defense, not play politics with our national security. I do not care who is in the White House. We will always do our job and we will always provide oversight. I trust that all of my colleagues here today recognize the importance of these jobs and need to work together to make sure that America is protected. So to our briefers, I appreciate you all joining this committee on relatively short notice. The American people deserve answers about this Chinese spy balloon that was first publicly reported to be in the United States Air Force, uh, airspace above my home state of Montana. This is the first congressional meeting open to the public to examine what happened. Montanans and folks all across this country value their freedom, they value their privacy. Those are American values, and China wants to destroy on their way to replacing us as the world's leading superpower. I, along with many of my colleagues on this committee, have been ringing the alarm bell on Chinese aggression long before last week's news. And I will take on anyone to make sure China does not weaken our country. That's why I'm prepared to hold anyone accountable, including the folks seated before this committee today, to get real answers. This administration owes Americans answers not only on what happened this past week, but on what steps they're going to take to ensure that this never happens again. That is why it is critical that we look forward and have appropriate practices in place to stop any future provocations from China or any other foreign adversary. We live in a time where our technological and defense capabilities are rapidly evolving. I, along with the rest of this committee, look forward to making sure these evolving capabilities are put to good use. That includes making sure that you at the DOD get a budget that you need on time. 